Hi Aries, this is a pick a card reading for what's coming in 2020 for you. So we have three groups here, we have group one, group two and group three. The cards that I am using for this reading will be in the description box below as well as the timestamps for each of these readings so then you can go in the description box, you can click on the timestamp and watch the reading that you're most drawn to. So this is specifically for Aries but if you are a sun, moon, rising or Venus sign Aries you know, you can check out, you know, the other signs as well. Um, so we're going to have a look, see what's coming through. So, you know, maybe you're here for your um, sun sign, just want to clear that up. Then you can check out your moon sign um, reading also if you would like to. Um, if you're a moon Aries, you're also welcome to check out this reading. If you're rising, Venus Aries, hello and welcome. So we're going to have a look into the situation. I am going to be doing one 12 card spread in each of these readings, which will consist of four cards for career, four cards for love, and also four cards for general. So we're going to have a nice look into 2020 for you. All right. So I also want to mention if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. Very simple to enter. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information for that will be down below in the description box below as well. If you're on mobile, make sure you tap on the title of my video and it will automatically expand the description box. So, you know, those are done within 24 to 48 hours. And my bracelets are on Etsy, so if you are interested in purchasing any of my bracelets, which are intention bracelets, they are made by me, they start from just £3 with free international shipping, the link will be down in the description box below to my Etsy, so just to show you what they look like, they look like this, um, and yeah, if you are interested, have a look, have a look, see what you think, um, and yeah, let's get started. Alright, so... Let me just move that out of the way. I am going to also move out of the way group number three and group number two because we will get onto them a little bit later. All right, so we're going to start first and foremost with group number one. All right, so Aries, group number one. Let's have a look and see what's coming in 2020 for you. So I'm going to move these cute little grapes out of the way. They're not real, by the way. Um, they're just really great though, aren't they? They're great. They're great. I felt like that could have been a pun, but it wasn't quite. Alright, so we're going to have a look, see what's coming through. Have you noticed how the timestamp for the group number one is literally 2.20? I thought that kind of freaked me out. Anyways, so... First four cards are going to be to do with love, the second four cards are going to be career and then the top row of four cards will be just general. Um, we may get more cards, that's totally fine if we do. Alright, so I'm using here the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot deck, it's so beautiful, it's so golden, it's so much fun. Oh, a card that flipped over, look at that, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands and Temperance. T, T and T. Ten, Ten, Temperance. And the Chariot. Alright, so what we can already establish here is I really very, very strongly do believe that things are progressing for you, Aries, in regards to your love life. I mean... Look at that, right? Look at that. Temperance here is all about balance. It's all about patience as a virtue. I'm also seeing that for some of you, this is about reconciliation. So take that how it resonates. If it's not about someone from your past and you're not willing to be with someone from your past, this is about you just feeling so balanced and so grounded. But for some of you, there is someone from the past that is coming back around and there's also reconciliation here. So it's kind of like a reading that goes two ways in that sense. The Ten of Pentacles is really showcasing very, very strongly commitment, stability, security, which I'm seeing in 2020 for you. It's going to feel like your stars are aligning, your wish is coming true. Chariot is about forward movement and progression. It's really showing um, a sense of travel also with a loved one in regards to love, obviously. And the Ten of Wands is about putting down old baggage. It's about healing. It's about, you know, not letting yourself get consumed by all this excessive... Um, you know, excessive thoughts that 
are just draining you or holding and weighing you down. It's about putting all of that away, feeling much more balanced, you know, being able to progress forward and really getting what you want from the bigger picture, which I think is beautiful, Aries. Wow. All right, so now we're going to move on to career and money, okay? So we have the Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, okay, so we've got a few more cards, which is totally fine. So, Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, we have here the Three of Wands, High Priestess, and the Queen of Pentacles. This, I think, is beautiful. A, because it's showing that in 2020, you're really going to follow your gut in regards to your work. You're going to feel much more emotionally balanced in regards to your work and your finances. The Seven of Pentacles shows here that you will really take a lot of strides in trying to figuring, what well, essentially into figuring out how you can progress forward in regards to your work, what makes you feel good, what doesn't. The Six of Pentacles is about balance. It's really about feeling good. Also, in what you do, Three of Wands here shows some kind of patience that you will have to have in regards to your work, so please take that as it resonates, but there is definitely something here in regards to patience that will need to be had by you. And once you have that patience, what I'm really seeing is an, op an opening and an opportunity for so much more growth and money flowing in. So it may be that you just kind of have to hold your horses and wait and then you'll get a promotion or something like that, Hold your horses, wait, and you'll get some form of an opportunity. So there's something here about a bit of patience, a little bit of waiting. Things are looking really balanced for you in 2020, though. Really balanced. Make sure you follow your gut and your intuition when it comes to career and your financial situation, and you will feel so good, so much better. So Seven of Pentacles is really showing a lot growing, you know, a lot flowing. So that is really nice. And that Queen of Pentacles are really showing a strong level of stability. Strong level of stability, security and commitment. Wow. Okay, so now we are on the general portion of this reading. So general, very general. Three to the four of swords shows some form of pain. I know this is not nice to, to really talk about, but there is some form of pain that is coming through here. Do I feel that this pain is in regards to love? No. Um, I feel that it's more maybe like a little injury, some kind of recovery that you will have to take in regards to, I mean, it may not be so little, but um, essentially just be careful because I feel that many of you, once you see this, you will automatically want to be careful. And a lot of you are going to avoid this, but there's essentially an injury here that I'm seeing. It's not life-threatening or anything like that. It's just a little injury that I'm seeing. I mean, it depends what you class as little, you know, but I am seeing a bit of rest, a bit of retreating, you know, three to the four of swords. It shows, you know, recovery. So that's positive. For some of you, it's a little injury. For some of you, it may not feel as little of an injury. There's definitely a little injury or something going on here. Okay, Wheel of Fortune shows that this... 2020 is a year for you. I mean, it is abundance. It is about flow. It is about, you know, really becoming stronger within yourself, stronger within your work, stronger in love, stronger in your finances, stronger in recovering, right? Because that's going to make you strong as well. But it's really showing that as the wheel turns, abundance comes your way. Wheel of Fortune is also known as, you know, the year. So it shows that there's a lot coming your way. It's very auspicious, very prosperous. We like what we're seeing. And we have the Ten of Cups, which shows emotional satisfaction, joy, and happiness. It is beautiful. You know, it is really showing um, beautiful union. It's showing emotional balance. It's showing, you know, wishes and dreams coming true. It's nice. I like what I'm seeing here with this particular card. It's beautiful. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So group number one, this is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did and you found that this resonates with you, of course, you know, it's going to take a while for that to happen, but um, if you have any comments or anything like that, please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and um, do check out the description box below for all of the information, you know, private paid readings, free readings, bracelets which are on Etsy if you are interested, and I hope you take care, group number one. So now I'm going to move on to the second group. I'm just going to clear all of the cards away. All right, so 
so group number two. Aries, what is coming in 2020 for you, group number two? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to move this little flower out of the way. There we go. Okay, so let's have a look, see what is going on. Cards that I'm using will be in the description box below, just in case you're wondering. Okay, so first four cards are to do with love. Second four cards are to do with career. Second four cards, the second row of four cards are going to be to do with career. And the third row here for four cards is going to be to do with general. Okay, so we have the hermit. We have, oh, we've got a lot of cards. I'm not going to lie. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the top card in this instance. Let's keep shuffling for the last card. So this is all in regards to love. So we have the seven of pentacles, the hermit, and the queen of pentacles. We got the moon. Okay, so I feel like Aries, you're going to go through some cycles and phases in regards to love where you emotionally feel great and then maybe you feel a bit like meh you know, where you need a bit of space and a bit of time with the hermit energy as well. So what I'm seeing is that you feel like 2020 is just cycles and phases. Um, what I am seeing, though, is that you are going to have commitment in 2020 that makes you feel stable. This moon card is more to do with kind of your emotions and maybe feeling a little bit kind of out of place, just mainly within your emotional self. But what I am also seeing with Seven of Pentacles is that it's all about stability um, and trying to gain in as much stability as you can because the seven of pentacles is known to be a card of feeling a little bit off balance it's about feeling wobbly it's about sometimes not feeling great but the aim of this particular card is finding that stability making that stability working towards that that goal and that stability and that's what's coming through the seven of pentacles it's about getting to that ideal and so that's what's coming through is that even if you feel off balance emotionally mentally physically spiritually with the moon card you will not give up and you will find that in your own space and time so make sure you take some time to rest and retreat very very important but in regards to love I am seeing commitment I'm seeing you know a wish come true I'm seeing happiness but I'm seeing you know within mainly yourself not the other person or anything like that Mainly within yourself, you're going to start to feel like, <sighs> you know, you're just going to feel like, I need some space, I need some time, I need to, <sighs> you know, like I'm literally doing the, the kind of movement, I'm like, <sighs> you know, you're going to feel a little bit like that, like you just need a bit of time and a bit of space, you need to regain your mental energy. So that's mainly what I'm seeing for love right? Don't give up because you will get to a place of stability. Make sure you take time for yourself with the hermit. You will get through those cycles and phases. I'm seeing commitment for you, all right? So the, the main thing here is just mainly, I really feel like the guides are just mainly pointing towards you feeling more stable, secure within yourself. The moon there though is really very, very strongly to do with things getting stronger, um, and it is showing that, you know, you are going to progressively get much stronger within yourself and understand yourself in a much, much better way. So that's what we are seeing there with that particular card. So whilst we were doing that, I was shuffling. Okay, and we have some of the career cards. So we have the six of wands, we have the six of pentacles, we have three of swords. Okay, so what I would say is that overall, with these two sixes, it is about victory, success, potential, progress. It's about balance. I know we have that Three of Swords. Three of Swords is indicating be beware of someone in regards to work that can try and maybe steal your ideas or take credit for what you do or um, try and kind of like self-sabotage you in some kind of way. They will be caught out What I'm, is what I'm seeing. So that's why I'm saying is that you'll have victory, success, potential um, with the Six of Wands you know, striding towards your goals, Six of Pentacles is about balance, they will get their karma, Threes and Tarot are about karma, so if they try and do something, you know, in that sense, where they're trying to, you know, take credit, or, you know, steal ideas from you or something, they will get caught, they will have their karma, don't worry about that, um, just make sure you are doing you, that you're focused on you, that's the most important thing in this situation, okay, so that's what we're seeing there, 
we have the Empress. So the Empress here really does showcase very, very strongly a sense of um, recognition and, and happiness and joy and passion for what you do. So the most important thing here is make sure that you know you feel good with what you're doing. Um, if you don't necessarily like what you're doing, maybe reevaluate re because I am seeing that in 2020 you will really step forward towards things that you feel more passionate about in regards to your work and your finances. Your financial financials, should I say, situation is looking very, very balanced um, and overall very, very positive. So that is something that's coming through very, very strong strong but um you know if someone tries to self-sabotage you know you they will get self-sabotage themselves they're more, more so doing this to themselves really okay so now we're going to look into the general portion of this reading let's have a little look page of pentacles page of pentacles Okay, Page of Pentacles, right? Page of Pentacles here is really about you gaining some form of an opportunity. This is general, so of course, you know, we can look into, it, it may bring messages in regards to love, career, family, you know, any other aspect of life. But what I am seeing is that the Page of Pentacles here is about you gaining opportunities. So I really do feel, A, you're gaining opportunities in love, B, you're gaining opportunities in career, you're also gaining opportunities in regards to finances. The two and the three of cups is very interesting because it's showing love, but it's also showing a social aspect, you know, being able to share with other people, not share your love with other people, obviously, that would be a third party situation. I'm not seeing a third party situation, what I'm seeing is like a celebration and, you know, really enjoying the connection, you know, but with other people. So sharing this connection with family, you know, sharing this stability that you have, but with other people and just really enjoying the whole situation. So that's what's coming through with the two and the three of cups. Um, at the bottom that just fell on the, it fell on my, it fell in my drawer. 10 of pentacles. Look at that, right? So overall, your year is going to be full of abundance. It is going to be feeling like your stars are aligning. Wishes are coming true. You're getting what you want. But more than anything, you're becoming stronger within yourself, which honestly, I think, you know, it's just such um, a beautiful energy. You know, it just, it just proves that you are going to be feeling so strong and so good and well within your own energy. And that is lovely to see. I think it's beautiful. I think it's, it's exciting. I think it is just solid abundance in all, in, in all, um, in all, what am I trying to say? All in all. <laughs> there we go. All right. So Aries, this is your group number two reading for what's coming in 2020. I really hope that this gave you more of an insight. And um, if this resonates with you, or if you have any comments as well, please let me know in the comment section below. It'll probably take a while for this to resonate, obviously. Um, but yeah, if you have any comments, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And um, yeah, do check out the description box below as well if you would like to for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, bracelets which are on Etsy, all that jazz. And um, I will see you all very, very soon. So I'm going to move on to group number three. So I'm just going to clear away these cards for group number two. All right, group number three, Aries, what's coming in 2020? Let's have a look, see what's coming up, what I can pick up, what's happening, all that good stuff. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So um, here we go. So we have these beautiful grapes, I'm just gonna move them out of the way. They're not real or anything like that. I have here the tarot cards. So all of the tarot cards I'm using will be listed in the description box below. These ones are actually called Tattoo Tarot. So let's begin. So the first four cards are gonna to be to do with love. And then the second row of four cards is going to be to do with career. Third row of four cards is going to be to do with general. Just general, we make it pick up on different areas and different things. So let's have a look Aries and see. So we have for love, we have the king of wands with the sun. Okay, and then let's see what other two cards we have. Overall, this is really beautiful, right? So we also have the death card, which shows endings and new beginnings. So 
I know this may sound not the, the nicest thing in the world, but I am seeing definitely a transformation in regards to love. Now, there's two things that I'm seeing, so take this as it resonates, please. Um, either, you know, there is an ending with someone in a relationship, and then there's this beautiful new opening that I'm seeing, or there is a transformation in your relationship where things just become stronger. So I'm seeing kind of two sides of things. I know that doesn't really help, especially when we're kind of doing a prediction like this, but that's what I'm seeing. The nine of coins here, I mean, I am kind of seeing that single energy really, you know, progressing forward. Sorry, that is my foot hitting the drawer that is underneath my table. So I am seeing a bit of a single energy, but at the same time, I'm seeing independence, I'm seeing strength. So again, you can kind of see why there are two kind of messages coming through here, because not everybody is going to have, you know, an ending in regards to love. Um, there's going to be, you know, strength that's going to be built in. There's going to be a lot of independence and confidence that's going to allow a relationship to also transform. So for some of you, this is about endings, becoming single, and then a new person coming in. Whether it's male or female, I read energies in tarot, not the gender. So whether it's, you know, um, a female that comes in that has the energy of the king of wands, or if it's a male that comes in that has the energy of the king of wands, you know, I read the energies. But it's going two ways is what I'm, is what I'm seeing. The sun also shows happiness, hope, positivity, joy, progression. So regardless of what happens in this situation, there's only someone stronger coming in for you. Someone that is more attracted to you, someone that fights for you more, pursues you more, you know, just really wants to be with you more. And, um, in general, if this is not about, you know, a break in any way, shape or form, this is just about things continuing and getting stronger and stronger for the two of you. Okay, so there are two kind of double messages that I saw, because it's not going to be the same for everyone. And um, just know that overall, the outcome is the same. It is showing hope, positivity, joy, and things really opening up in the best way possible. All right, so that is what I am seeing there. And then group number three. Let's have a look now at your career situation in 2020. Knave of Cups, you got some opportunities on your horizon. Okay, that was way too many cards and it's these ones right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle again for that particular card. Let's just put these here. So Knave of Cups, Nine of Wands, look at that, lots of opportunities. Seven of Wands. Okay. Knight of Wands. Look at that. Lots of opportunities coming forward to you. So um, I feel like you're going to pick the one that emotionally just suits you the best in the sense that it makes you feel the best. The Knight of Wands is really showing that you will be thinking a lot because I'm seeing multiple opportunities coming through your way in regards to work and career. Seven of Wands, you know, you will feel like you don't know exactly which way to turn. All I will tell you is follow your gut, follow the one that you're most passionate about and the one that makes you feel the best, but also do pick something that kind of challenges you a little bit with the Seven of Wands, you know, challenges you enough to kind of just be motivated and fired up to go for it, but not too challenging to the point where it makes you feel like giving up. So that is something that I'm seeing very strongly in regards to an opportunity and a decision that you will have to make in regards to an opportunity. So that's what we got going on there. I know that seems kind of vague, but I feel in the general reading we'll pick up a little bit more about career and love as well. So let's have a look in the general portion. We may also pick up lots of other different things too. Okay, so general portion, we've got some extra cards. So it's fine, we will take those. So again, two of wands here shows opportunities. You have multiple opportunities. You also have multiple opportunities in regards to love. So if you're kind of thinking you're just mainly gonna be tied to one person, you're not. There are lots of opportunities coming through. Four of wands here is about a very kind of, it's a really beautiful angel card because it's also showing that whatever path you're on, you're meant to be on it and it just promotes further growth. We've got so much fire energy. Look at that. So much fire energy in the spread, right? Got a king and a queen, it shows counterparts. We've got the ace of wands, four of wands. There is also a spiritual connection here that I'm really picking up on between you and this king of wands kind of energy that I'm seeing. Um, 
it's strong, you're going to feel confident, you're going to feel really independent and strong, which we also picked up with the Nine of Coins. But also this Ace of Wands shows progression, it shows things manifesting for you, things getting stronger, things just getting better and better. And then we also have the Six of Cups, which is like the soulmate kind of energy. We also have the sense of you just feeling really good, feeling balanced, also in regards to work, you gaining some form of recognition, emotional satisfaction, joy, union, happiness. Even in regards to your career and your financial situation, this is about feeling balanced and really good with everything that is going on around you. So all in all, the big struggle that you, I think, are going to be faced with is just making that that um, decision in regards to that opportunity. That's the big thing I'm seeing. But whoa, Aries, look at that fire energy coming through. This is your energy and it's, it's about progression and things manifesting and you wanting to find that happiness, which you will, you will, there is real hope for it, and there is potential for it that I am picking up on 100%, so this is your reading Aries for group number three, um, what's coming in 2020, if you have any comments um, or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below, um, if you're watching this somewhere in 2020, let me know how it's resonating so far, and also don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and also do check out the description box below if you are interested in the private paid reading, the free reading giveaway, bracelets which are on Etsy, all that will be in the description box below and I hope you have an absolutely lovely day or night wherever you are whenever you're watching this and take care, bye!